I feel I remain with that pain in my heart. But when I look at those who force me to go and fight. It's a bitter reality. Paul Okwaken's life was shattered by a rocket propelled grenade in a war he was forced to fight alongside the LRA at the age of 11. He's just one of the millions of the people around the world carrying the scars of conflicts and neglect by their own communities. My own parents, they're not happy when they look at me like someone who is a killer or someone who, someone who did a wrong thing in the bush. It's for people like Okokene that the ICC was formed. However, experts think that the institution by itself cannot bring peace and justice to the world. Professor Gallant from our council says while the court can order restitution in some cases, the resources are not enough. The ICC is way too small to deal with all matters arising even out of a single conflict. Professor Garland says focusing on livelihoods would be more important to rebuild communities. What the international community and any government can do is merely provide the peaceful situation where real reconciliation and real rebuilding of communities and of the economy can take place. Prior to this review conference, Rudo Kwaramba, the National Director of World Vision Uganda, has worked with former LRA victims who shared with her their aspirations. They want to, as much as possible, have a normal life. In spite of the pain they have experienced in captivity, they would like to have a normal life. As the conference enters its fourth day, lawyers, civil society organizations and political leaders are working on giving it credibility and more power. People freely express their thoughts here at the people's space on the wall of freedom. In fact, the rating is indeed on the wall. They may not mend a broken past, but they have all the power to build a peaceful future. Delegates are hoping that the Kampala Conference will make a commitment that will make the court a strong and fair institution with ingredients to provide international justice. Patrick Amara, NTV Monyonyo.